Thanks, David. There is a lot of concern over warmer weather, creating dangerous ice conditions on Lake Winnebago, too, with just two days until the Sturgeon Spearing opener. And upriver waterways are also open for spearing. Samantha Gavali joins us live at Lake Winnebago after hearing about anglers' expectations. Samantha. Right, Cammy. Despite that many people are actually going to be here sometime this weekend here at Lake Winnebago, spearing sturgeon this weekend is part of the season. About 500 of 500 uh, spears are going to actually also be spearing at the up at the upriver lakes, about 500 of those as part of the DNR sturgeon management plan. Now, despite the warm weather and the not so ideal um, ice conditions, we talked with one local spearer who says that he's trying to tell people to stay optimistic. Looking at that forecast two weeks ago, we were like, oh my gosh, we're not going to be able to go. It's going to be terrible. We need airboats and tents. And likely or not, the uh, river lake system has been pretty good. Chris Busher owns Critters Wolf River Sports in Winnicani. He says it's always exciting when you get that lucky draw. The last one I had was eight years ago, so I'm coming up. Hopefully in a year or two, I'll have another one. But I've been very successful on the system. How successful? The Wisconsin DNR reports the success rate on the upriver lakes is 50 to 60 percent compared to Lake Winnebago with a sturgeon harvest rate of five to eight percent. This year's season was said to be at risk due to poor ice conditions. But it is a 16 day season after opening weekend. It looks like we're going to get some cold weather. And for anyone who lives in Wisconsin knows 16 days with an unpredictable Wisconsin weather, we could see anything. Sturgeon biologist Margaret Stadig says there are no exceptions due to poor weather when it comes to retaining preference points for an upriver tag. She has heard from multiple people frustrated about waiting nine years for this kind of a tag who may not be able to go out on the ice. Depending what tag you pulled, that's the only place you can spear. If you were pulled for an upriver, you are only allowed to spear upriver. You can't then go to Winnebago. Same thing with Winnebago. If you were not pulled for an upriver tag, you have to spear Winnebago. You can't go upriver. Busher agrees with Stadig about the opening weekend not looking optimal, but the following days may provide better conditions. And the fact that we have good ice right now, it looks it looks like it might, I wouldn't probably go maybe Friday or Saturday, but for sure the following week it looks like it's going to stay cold. So all those that have upper takes should get out in the water and should have a very successful season. Now Busher also telling people that, or at least telling me exactly, that he's saying that it's been kind it's actually um, a little bit that's changed this year is the ease of going uh, sturgeon spearing. He said that there's not enough ice to take a vehicle out there. So he's most likely going to be taking an ATV out there and also getting a smaller, less weighted shack. But also it depends on the ice conditions that he plans to check every single day, taking the to before actually taking that risk to go out onto the ice. Reporting near Lake Win Winnebago, Samantha Cavalli, Action 2 News.